Recall January 2020. What was the biggest news? Wasn't coronavirus. It was the Australian wildfires. These wildfires became Australia's costliest natural disaster to date. A hundred billion dollars damaged, dozens dead, a billion animals lost, and thousands of square miles incinerated. How can we avoid such destruction? Simple. Control fires while they are still small. But here's the kicker. Wildfires grow so fast, they become uncontrollable in mere hours, able to consume an entire football field in less than one second. That's why rapid detection is key. But currently, there is no way to detect the start of a forest fire in real time. Our technology is about to change that. My name is Jay Shah, and I am from the University of Virginia. We are developing a dense network of detectors. These detectors will relay critical information in real time, so the firefighters are alerted instantly. Our detectors are reliable, inexpensive, self-powered circuits, so we call them risk detectors. Reliability is critical. We can't have this whole network collapse if a few detectors die. So we are designing every detector to be reconfigurable. It will adapt its power use and signal transmission to communicate to the nearest active circuit, even if that means jumping over dead circuits in between. This ensures that critical information is relayed on time. Now, you might wonder, how practical is this? After all, we might need millions of detectors to effectively cover a forest. And can you even imagine routinely changing the batteries of these countless detectors that are scattered over thousands of square miles? Well, you don't need to. Our detectors run on very low power. And we've included solar panels that can easily support them for decades to come. So they are fully self-powered. Also, they are manufactured using a cost-effective technology, allowing us to produce millions of them inexpensively. And you know what's amazing? We can start field testing our detectors within just a couple of years. My hope is tragedies like the Australian wildfires will soon exist only in our history books. Thank you.